This was a perfect clip to show comfort zones for fearful parrots. Here I am approaching her. She was calling for me and she wanted me to see her. I wanted to bring her out with me so she could be with me and not call for me. She is really fearful. So here I am talking to her and approaching her, watching for her body language. As I approach, I wonder how close she's going to let me get to her. I keep moving forward, watching her move. The goal is to get her to step up. Okay, so I'm moving closer. There she goes. I'm too close to her and I'm in her comfort zone. So I back away. Watch, she comes right back to where she was. Now I'm talking to her and I hide my hand. You can see she's looking at my hand. Or should I say looking for my hand. Now I'm talking to her, reassuring her and getting ready to move closer to her. I usually tell her what I wanna do. Like I want you to step up or I want you to come out with me. Or do you wanna come out with me? Do you want me to hold you? Just different questions. So now I'm getting closer to her and she can't see my hand. So she's a little more comfortable, but she's still looking for it. And she's letting me in her comfort zone here. And I'm talking to her and asking her if she wants to step up. I'm getting a little close. She walks away, but she's thinking about it. Like, where's that hand? So now she's talk, listening to my voice, telling her everything's gonna be okay or chit-chatting with her. Here you can see she's ready for me. to put. I can tell she's comfortable, so I'm getting ready to put my hand up for her to step up on. And she's thinking about it. There she goes, and she's, she's choosing to come close to me. And there she goes, she steps up and snuggles against me. Out she goes. This bird was absolutely fearful when she first came to my house. If you weren't following us then, she would not come out of her cage or she'd fly around like crazy. She did not want to be handled. She hid in the back of her cage. She came to me two years ago. She used to live in a petting zoo and she would hide up in the upper corner of the petting zoo. The guy in the petting zoo would grab her forcefully and handle her really, really rough. So I understand why she's afraid of hands. But she's getting better. 